don't share someone's gonna totally freak out in the middle of the video and then start going off in a comment so i want to go ahead and show you i'm making a neck knife and i have some stuff here i'm just going to throw this in and i'm going to nail them off so the person out there that wants to know and you just you you never know somebody probably wants to know all the little details of of what it is exactly you're putting together and i got some uh uh fire kit stuff here first that i want to put together in this little kit i just got to make sure it's the right distance so you gotta you're gonna have to cut these are a little bit too wide Oops. cut these down a little bit let's see make sure it just fits perfect now i mean there we go. That's pretty good. This stuff works great. I love this stuff. This wax fire starter. All right. There's this. Uh, this goes with the Spartan preparedness. If you're looking around for something like this, let's do the. This is your fire kit with that, and. I'm going to use this. Let's just go ahead and figure out that's right. Now, I should probably just go ahead and fold that into place. Because it might be the least important or least used immediately. I don't know if I'm going to use that right, right away. But I want to see how much room it takes up with all that. There's that. Okay. So fire capsule, magnesium capsule. Go ahead and put, I always put one in. You don't have to, it's something I do. Uh, this is your aqua tabs. Uh, you might want to purify some water. Easy peasy, just drop them and go. You just need to. And, but I got, it's, it's a total of four. You only need two per. So. The amounts and specifications are on each container. So just make sure you're, you're reading those before you go putting them in. If you're getting into this stuff, you're going to read it anyway. Drop it in. Should be about right. I did not pre-fit this before the video. I'm just sort of going, you know, off the top. Uh, lead weights and stuff. I'm not going to add any of that stuff. A lot of this stuff, fire tender stuff, you know, all these different things. You know, I can substitute a lot of different things. It's just, it's the uh, unspoken thing. It comes with a lot of stuff when you're putting these things together. Someone will, may see or not see and tell you 90 million different ways to do it differently. Or people that fail at doing certain things, other people can do. So it's just one of those things. It's kind of like someone trying to light duct tape. You know, you can you can actually use a striker and light duct tape, but if you just do it wrong, you're not ever going to get it lit. It's just going to look, it's going to make you look ridiculous. But then again, there's people out there that can. Something I've shared before. This is uh, like 80, uh, 80 test, 100 test, something like that. It's pretty hefty, but uh, this works pretty good for cordage, for tying things together. Not for fishing, but you could use it for both. And then there's some fishing line. I'm just trying to get all this in here correctly. Because you could put in your fishing line. Just want to see... How that goes in let's take that out first let's put that in boom get that out i got this idea when you're packing these things it's always good to start assembly and then figure out if that works for you or not but you can see what i'm doing i'm putting the fishing line down here it just looks like it's going to do better down here there's that Gets things out of the way. Fishing line. Cordage. It's hard to hold it in there. I, don't know if it I guess I should have rolled it up tighter. Probably would have made it better. Oh well. It is what it is now. There's that. And then that. And then. Aqua tab. And this. See how I did that? 
I just totally reverse myself and then da da. Now take out the aqua tab, as you don't want these falling all over the deck later on. That's your fishing hooks. So you just keep testing to see how much room it takes up. That's what I'm doing as I go. All right, fishing hook. Just doing four. You don't want to set yourself up for failure and you end up with a whole bunch of fishing hooks and then they fall out and they fall over the ground. You can't find them and then you're crying. You're alone, you're naked, and you're trying to figure out your life. You don't want that when you're naked and afraid. You want to make sure all of your stuff. There we go. Ta da! Aqua tabs. Da da da. Star tab. Da da da. Put this on. That's why I always put a little piece of duct tape with me. Because there's weird stuff I can do with duct tape. Ta da! See, now you have a little kit. Now, one more thing I should probably add. I wonder if I have room for that. This is the other thing I told you I probably should add, but I don't know if I have room for it. I probably do. I just have to slide this over some. Because the tabs don't take up much room inside the thing. It's just they tend to look bigger than what they are. All right. Slide this over. Because that's going under that. And it's not... That, that, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Sometimes I get these, sometimes I don't. But if I get it, then y'all can all go, hooray! Push that back in, get in. Ah. <laughs> it flipped up in here. All right, it's all in. Dun, dun, dun. Push it down a bit. It'll settle here in a minute. There we go. Ta-da! Now I can put that in. See, look! It's all in there. There we go. Put that to the side. It's got a little divot right there for my compass. It's all good. But it's all in there. And that's all that matters. Now, I don't need this. I don't need this bandage. I was thinking about that. I was like, eh, I don't really need that bandage. Uh, I don't need that much fire tender. There's a lot of fire tender. It's, you know, it's... It's for emergency use. You're probably going to use it like once when you're out there. Uh, this is a little combo I came up with uh, for my uh, invention of needing needing a arrow or something. Right? You don't want to use your knife, but you need an arrowhead, broadhead. There you go. And then you've got your your flashlight down here. You just disconnect it and use it for just what that is and just what that is. But da da. Anyway, simple little kit thing and now I just got to make something for it this is cool uh, I haven't shared this with too many of you one of my favorite items and it's just a silly little thing it's not a ring like you would think it is it's meant to go on the end of a barrel for like an air 15 or or your pistol and you you run it you run a can um, a suppressor and uh, the suppressor gets hot you know people get silly you know they just they Grab it by the suppressor for some reason, moving it around, and they don't realize that it's hot. Well, this will tell you if it's hot. See? It changes color. Pretty neat little <laughs> caveman. Caveman! Mini! Anyway, if you're looking for one of these things, it's kind of cool. Anyway, moving on. I have, before I get too far, I will show you the paracord part because, you know, some people really appreciate doing things over again. And again, that's what I got. Let me zoom in a little bit. It's better if you zoom in on it. Pretty cool. Back here, like I said, you just, all you do is give it a little rubber band. And like I said, everything I showed you is right there with a little band. It's right there. Now, most people wouldn't wear a knife like this, like this. They'd wear it on their belt. I get it. But... I make these little things and then I hang them up. I have a variety of crazy neck knives just hanging up. And the reason for that is just uh, if I ever need one, I've got a whole bunch of them. End of the world scenario, everybody gets a neck knife. You know what I mean? It's just one of those things. 
just a fun little project. Now, this one I want to be, do a little bit different. Most of the ones that I do are, let me grab one. I got one right behind me on the wall here. And off the wall, you can see how I've got these set up. These are uh, fly fishing magnets for your net when you're fishing. So you go just like that. And it's like more than five pounds. It's way more than five pounds. I think, yeah, it's got to be at least, at least five pounds. Got gnats. Anyways, five pounds. These have all got different setups, different purposes and everything. And you'll, you know, you've seen along the way. Anyway, enough about that. I'm going to use a clip for this one because I don't want to use another magnetic band, but I want to be able to take this off and on quickly. And I want it to be a weak connection. So if anyone gets to pull on it, trying to choke me to death, it'll just break, right? This is a breakable thing. And I'm doing it like this because I don't know what I want to connect my thing. You know what I mean? I just haven't decided yet. So I'm going to do, you know, undecided. So here we go. Let's do this. All right. Now, what you do, this should be enough line right here to do this. I never quite measure these out, but something like this. And then <laughs> I take them, bring them together, and then get my loop. And then once I get my loop, you can take this and run it through like this. If you can get it to fit through there. If you can't, you can use a string. And I may end up having to show you that. See, it's kind of inching its way through. It might not make it, but if it doesn't, like I said, you could just use a string. Take your string. That should be your connection right there. Here. That. This. Right here. From it. Pull. Just like that. Now that you get that through. Then you pull the rest through here. And then you have to double back. You gotta pull all that. Just back it off a little bit and then just pull that down to that. And then flip up. Just like that. Bam! Perfect. Now out of this is where you start getting the creativity going on. You need beads for a paste counter. To do your beads for a paste counter, just you're doing your. One thing I do is I pull back all that extra material on the inside. You know how you get the seven strand? I pull that back and then I make this narrow. This is one way of getting it all to come together. Got to kind of scrunch these. That'll make a point so it goes on easier. Just like that. Make sure the skulls are down. You're going to put nine on one side. You can do five or four on the other. I do it five because it's a different count. You can add up, you can clock up to three miles or five miles. You know, it depends on how you're, you're wanting to do your pace. I have a pace counter video if you need to understand more about pace counting. Pretty, pretty easy. Just don't lose track of your pace. And I've been pretty accurate with my pace when I do the pace counting. It's actually pretty accurate. Make sure you don't have any extra material. You might have a few. Just run your beads down. You might have little places that have little snags in them. That's just some extra wax build up behind the uh, survival cord. If you're using survival cord. If not, then it should just slide right down. But survival cord is kind of difficult with this stuff. But this is what I like to use. Now, in order to use your pace counter, I'm going to be doing um, it's a slip. Um, basically, it'll slide up and down. Uh, it's kind of a noose technique, you know, on one side or the other, and you can uh, loosen or tighten it up at any given time to change the way you want it. So I'm going to go ahead and do one first. You just figure out 
how long you kind of want this to be from here to here around your neck and then you take this excess and you just come back that way later on you can pull this up some and then you can use your pace counter and then you can bring it back that's kind of what i do but it's a little something like that and then come up to right about there where your loop's going to be go ahead and put your hook on if you're going to use one of these and just go ahead and start going down just you're doing a spiral that's all you're doing you just go like that just keep spinning it spinning it and you might have to try it again because you might be a little off on the distance when you do your spiral it's just a spiral all the way down and then you get to the end you might not like this but i'm gonna go ahead and try it i'll see if i like it and if i like it i'll keep it just like this and then find your pull sometimes you <laughs> sometimes it requires pliers i have a hard time grabbing it you know what i mean uh, there we go. There's many of those. There it is. Grab some. Pull. Slipping off already. It's pretty stout. Yep. There you go. Ah. And then, if you like that, that's nice and tight. That's a good one right there. It's just, it's got a weird, but then I go back. Like this. See how it adjusts? You can adjust just like that. And then that part can be the part that goes around the neck. And you just size it. You size it to your neck to make sure it's the, the right length you want. And then if it's not, you just do it all over again until you get the desired length you want. It's good to have it like that because then it's not. This part here isn't like rubbing up against your neck. Well, if that is the desired length you want... What you do, get your lighter. I like my UT, whatever, something like that. Yeah. UCO, yeah, it's UCO. Yeah, it's UCO. A little bit of. Go. Let's make sure you don't have anything sticking out sometimes this stuff's bad about having metal a metal piece sticking out where did my other scissors go there they are my stuff just starts running off man there you go now got that side done you can start on the other side and then so i got that metal piece sticking out already right there that's for your snare wire. So this also has snare wire. That's what I like about it too. It's got all those other cool features. I'm going to cut that down some. That. That. There you go. And then down we go. Go ahead and get one on and just put the rest of them on. This side I'm going to just do five. Right here. That was a slow process. Isn't it? Sometimes you got to grab hold of it. I can't get it to go all the way through there. All right. Then count. Make sure you got five. Sometimes you might have miscounted. Just in case. Double check. Keep them facing out. And brighten all the trick-or-treaters. Just like that. Boom. And that one notifies you that your last one got that little charred piece there. I don't like that. 
hate it when I kind of, you know, make a mistake like that. I didn't want the, you know, extra char there. Oh, well. It's what it is. It's not the end of the world, I guess. Let's see if I can't melt that sound. That freaking wire, man. It's good to have, but I tell you, it's it's always there, like, pestering in the way when you're finishing a project up. All right. Let's do this. Let's figure out how far are we going to go this time. So let's go ahead and let's, let's just go ahead and clip that on there. And then we can take up some of our slack with this side to make it just perfect how you want it. Boom. See how I do that? I just go that way, then I curve back, and I come right up here to the top where I want it. And then I just start spiraling. You can go left, right, you know, you can go inside or outside. It doesn't matter however you want to. But this is how I do it. This is how the cowboys did it. It's how I do it. <laughs> Anyways. But it makes for a nice neck knife. And if you use a thinner paracord, it might uh, be... It might not be as mobile, like moving up and down the other cord is easy. Yeah, I just want to show the whole thing. I know I sh uh, most, you know, most times I'm like fast forwarding and playing uh, relaxing music, but at least this way you can kind of see how to do it better. Kind of talking you through it. But just like that. See, I only have that much left over. It's not that big of a deal. It's a perfect amount. Then I can just go through. Just like that. Wham! Look at that. That is perfect. Now I gotta pull Ta -da! the slack right out. And I can come down here, cut this off. Being careful. The thing I want to look for here is that dumb snare wire. Which, snare wire is not dumb. I'm just saying that because I don't like getting pricked with it. There it is, right there, I think. And that's it. Yep. Got it that time. I missed it last time. That's where I made my mistake. I didn't cut it earlier. Anything else that hangs off, I can just cut. Tell you what, that stuff is a pain in the butt. Kind of got a little charred on that one, too. It's all good. Because that needs to stick there anyway. And it's only when you really need the line is when it comes apart anyway. So it's not really going to matter. And then when you're done, get a nice, nice, cool, nice, cool neck knife. And if you ever need to, you, know, you can change this anytime to anything you want. You don't have to leave that on there. You can put the magnetics on after. It's just, I'm just doing this temporarily to kind of get what I want. Figured out there. They make them in so many different styles. It's really hard to decide what I want for this one because I'm doing a, another setup that's all leather for another another knife setup that's it's going to have some orange hints in it it's like a lot of orange craziness going on and it's going to blend really good it's kind of a bunch of crazy like orange light orange feral rod orange this orange that it's just going to kind of blend really good it's going to be really cool and it's all for a leather project so that's a totally different video but anyways that's that so I'll try it on real quick. It's simple and it's held on nice. And you know, you just slip your finger through there, or you don't have to. You can do it either way. Give it a yank and <laughs> and then when you gotta put it back. I gotta lift my beard to show you. It'll cover it up pretty good, and nobody else ever gonna know it. 
Yeah, it's a nice little setup. It's perfect, doesn't lean too much. So when I'm working on something, it can hide right behind there. And if I need it, it's like, what's up, fool? And just slip it back in there. Boom. Pretty cool. I like it. Hope you enjoyed it. God bless you guys and take care.